I am delighted to be invited to address the second convocation of the Founders Day of Ajay Bhumi University. I received this communication from your president that he wanted to invite me for this convocation. And I read through all the material that has been very beautifully presented, not only beautifully presented, persuasively presented, and also when I read a little more, understood that these are realistically presented, more important than persuasively. So this is the way in which these particular uh, things are presented. I saw that there were a lot of things as a culture, as a practice, as a process that you have developed over years, which has brought you together to a university, a system like this, a university system, and which really provides the fundamentals of what we have written down in the national education policy. So I wanted to understand a little better about this university. There is something which is mystifying about the university for a person who has written a book, who has been also worked with this national education policy, and whose ideas of education, whose ideas of how do you develop a knowledge and how may relevant in the 21st century to make India truly a vibrant knowledge society, what it should be. So I wanted to know how this university is pursuing this aspect of the educational principle which we have enunciated in the national education policy. And is that the best way is to make use of this opportunity of being invited to this particular university. So I am here more to satisfy my curiosity and understand the way you learn and practice rather than I preaching you something uh, from my own knowledge of national education policy because I think you are in it already. The point that I was, the certain things I want to exemplify with respect to this is, one is the university is an outcome of an out of thought thinking. I want to say this and you have a, the vice chancellor who's just now said and every time he pointed out something about the university, I found this outstanding and has a world standard, is a world recognition. So obviously you are already aiming at that kind of standards and not the local standards of what you define as excellence and erudition. And then I was particularly struck by the uniqueness of these schools, the schools that you have created, the different schools into which the university is organized. And these programs are campus management, data science, law design, music, and science and technology. Between the various themes covered by the school, university stands out as one of its kind. I have no doubt in it in providing a truly liberal professional education. I would confess, I was so attracted to come over here to see for myself and interact with the management and the academics about this vision, mission,